I am on my way, ladies and gentlemen, to Guzman y Gomez, where they have done something incredible. They have combined nachos and ice cream. They've got something called the Nacho Sunday. Love ya. It looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty interesting. They've uh, got cinnamon sugar dusted nacho chips, and they've topped that with ice cream. So I'm pretty keen. Like, I do love something crunchy um, with my ice cream. It is, it is a good dessert. And, and of course, they have then topped this ice cream corn chip concoction with a drizzle. Drizzle. Yes, a drizzle of chocolate sauce or that brown sauce, kind of a caramel thing, the um, the, the Lucha Libre sauce, I think, I don't know, whatever. Um, anyway, I'm on my way there now. I am, uh, I'm just gonna check this out. Let's, uh, let's see how it is. Yeah, uh, could I get the nacho sundaes, please? The nacho sundae? Yeah. Chocolate caramel? Sorry? Chocolate or caramel? Oh, um, yeah, what's the Il Duce sauce, is that? Yep. The, the dolce sauce, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, could I, would it be possible to get both, or just... I'll just see, mate. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can get both on it, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, just, can I get... So, just, uh, just do a caramel or nacho sundae at the chocolate sauce as well? Yeah, like, could I get, like, them on one side? Like, chocolate on one side, the, yeah, the Joe Dolce on... Chocolate caramel? Yeah. Yeah, all good. Any brilliant. else to do? Nah, that's fine, thanks. Alrighty, very last minute, mate. Awesome, thank you. Brilliant. They have uh, acquiesced to my request for two types of brown sauce. Ooh. The nacho sundae? Yeah, yeah. Seven dollars for that. Ah, cool. Was that extra for the extra sauce? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, see ya. Okay, brilliant. Let's uh, let's check this out. Okay, I'm back from the drive-through with my nachos Sunday, nacho Sunday, whatever. Let's just uh, let's just take a look at this bad boy. Ba -ba Boom! There it is. Wow, that is uh, that is something. I'm getting. A very strong cinnamon hit there. I think, uh, well, yeah, as you can see, they've put cinnamon on top of the uh, the ice cream as well as uh, the chips. So a lot of uh, a lot of cinnamon happening there. Now this is quite a lot of sauce, but uh, as you can see, I did put on twice the amount of sauce. I actually just wanted half of each, but they were like, we can't do that, so we'll just put on two lots of sauce. I got an extra sauce. I got the chocolate sauce and the uh, the 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 other brown sauce. So anyway, let's just get stuck into it. Um, I did get a fork, luckily, but I'm of course just gonna go straight for the uh, the chips here. Let's go straight in with the chips and the ice cream. Let's give it a go. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm. Mm. Like, not bad, that's not bad, not bad. This is a, um, you know, like nachos and also anything with ice cream. It is, a, it is a, a dish that like changes over the course of you eating it. Like the chips get soggy and the ice cream melts a bit. This is melting a fair bit because it is a hot day, but I still, I can't quite evaluate this yet. Let's, uh, let's give it a few more turns. I will say, it is definitely interesting. You know, this seems like something that was cooked up by a weekend smoker, but I actually had a look around. The concept of a nacho sundae does exist. Mmm. But well, normally they would use waffle cone instead of actual nacho chips. So that is some level of innovation there from Guzmini Gomez. Hmm. Wow, and I don't think they've changed the corn chips in any way, except adding the cinnamon sugar on top. So they are still like fairly salty. So you got the salty and the sweet. Is this for dinner or dessert? Por que no los dos? As that girl from the other Mexican ad said, she's actually like pretty old now. Por que no los dos? This is not bad, not bad, but I don't know. I don't know if it coheres together. I don't know if the chips, are quite like the best vessel for the ice cream and sauce. Um, this is my first time trying the sauce, and this uh, this brown sauce, this other brown sauce, this is actually quite good. 
Mmm. Yeah, it's quite warm. It tastes what I remember McDonald's caramel sauce tasting like. Last time I had the the caramel sauce um, with the McDonald's sundae, it, it didn't really taste that good. It didn't taste as good as it did in my memory, but uh, this one tastes better. <clears throat> um, the cinnamon is still good, but I don't know. I'm not like 100% sold on the corn chips here. I need them to get like all gooey, but I don't know if that's happening. These are made to withstand, uh, you know, beans and meat and rice like mixed together they're, they're a fairly robust chip i think so they're standing up against the ice cream pretty well also i do have to say that this is not an ideal dessert for me because well there's been an update to my dental situation i used to think that i had sensitive teeth and they are they are sensitive but um on one side and I have a cavity, which is making things a bit difficult to eat. Oh. But on the other side, I have uh, what the dentist called pulpitis. It means I, I either, I'm facing a root canal or a complete extraction of, uh, of the tooth. I don't know which one to get. I would love to hear your opinion, actually. The root canal is $2,000 versus the extraction, which, um, is like 300 bucks, but then I don't have a back tooth for forever, forever. Um, it's just a molar, like the back molar, so it's not that big a deal, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, anyway, I, I thought these chips would start to get sort of soggy, which is what I wanted, but they're still like really hard. So I thought it would be like like cereal, like breakfast cereal. You know, your first bite of breakfast cereal is super hard and then it gets all nice and soggy later on. This is not getting soggy at all. Hmm. So I'm not sold on this. This is so far 2024's most cooked product, but yeah, it's it's not that great. It's not that great. Actually, you know, that last bite there, it the, the taste of these corn chips are actually very similar to corn flakes. So, you could make this at home by adding corn flakes and ice cream together, and it would be fairly similar. Hmm. So these are available for a limited time only. I don't know, maybe they're seeing how it goes. If uh, they're popular, they might keep it as a permanent menu item. Like, it doesn't really require any extra stuff. I think they just, uh, the, the cinnamon sugar is about the only new ingredient. They have sundaes here. They've had them for a while. Um, and of course, they've had corn chips since the very beginning. So yeah, it's not like a new, like, bunch of stuff they have to add to the menu to, to make this every day. Normally, this costs $6.50. This one was $7.00 for the additional sauce. I would suggest the caramel over the chocolate. It's a lot more interesting. But overall, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sold on this. I, I was pretty excited to try it, but it does not, uh, doesn't tickle my fancy that much. My, um, my fancy remains untickled. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Many thanks for watching as always, and um, I will catch you all later. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure some dude that was stoned out of his head has eaten this in the past and recommended it to um, that Steve guy from Guzman y Gomez. Hmm. So, yeah, I thought, I thought, <coughs> sorry.